My name is Celeste Romero. My mom is Lulu Romero, and I'm her baby. <laughs> so I'm the youngest of five. Um, my name is Pearl Romero. Um, my mom is Lulu Romero, and um, I'm the oldest daughter. My name is Mo, um, Omar Perich, but everyone called me Mo. It was a nickname I got growing up. All of, all of my brothers and sisters had a nickname. Um, mine was Mo, my older brother's Chacho, uh, my older sister's Termite, I have a younger brother, Spooky, and Celeste, she, she was unfortunate. She had probably the hardest nickname of all of us. Hers was Fuchi, and that was her nickname growing up. My name is Jose Romero, and I've been married to Yvonne Romero. We've been married 39 years. We both love God, and our first conversation was, are you a believer? Do you believe in Jesus? That was the most important thing. Then did she have a love for kids, which was very important to me, and is, and will always be. We got married. Uh, uh, we got married at Victory Outreach. This was many years ago. We got married between the morning and the evening service at Pastor Saul and Stella's house in La Puente. Oh my gosh, my mom was an amazing mom. She was an even more amazing wife. She taught us how to serve our, our dad, how to love what a man should be and how he should treat us. She honored him. Mom always made strong decisions and she was our strength, but she always reverenced uh, dad. She loved dad and she served him and she always made the house so special and so warm, I remember. Um, before he would get home from work, she would make sure dinner was ready and the house was clean and just set up an atmosphere where he would come home and feel like, wow, I'm home, you know, and we, we loved it. I, I, I just can't imagine like being that kind of wife one day. I want to be like her. Some of my, the greatest memories of my mom, one of the greatest memories of my mom was um, on Saturday mornings, there was a show that used to come on with Don Cornelius, it was called The Soul Train. And I remember The Soul Train would come on and mom would play it. And um, we'd watch it together. And my mom loved dancing. She loved dancing. And so my mom would get up and she would dance and I would dance with her. And because of, of that, I grew up and I, I enjoyed, you know, when I was in the world, I enjoyed dancing, break dancing, and all kinds of, just expressing myself through music. And uh, I'll always remember my mom's love for, for music and for dancing. Well, that, that uh, she was probably the most exciting woman that's ever walked into my life. And that, you know, we started to date and the, de the desire to have somebody that was going to be by my side the rest of my life. That was the most important. And that we had the same values and that we love kids. Um, I think what I remember most about mom was her love. She loved so much. She loved the Lord. She loved her husband. She loved her children. She loved her grandchildren. She was so proud of us. She always kept family first. She would tell us God is first, but charity starts at home. That was mom saying, charity starts at home. And if you want to save the world, you got to make sure you got your family together first. And she made sure that we remained as one, a family unit. We were strong. And she would say, you don't air your dirty laundry. You know, you hold it together, you keep your family business, your family business. 
If somebody tells you something, you keep it, you pray for them, you love them. That was her heart. Her unconditional love. Mama was always there for us. Um, she was there with all of my kids born, but even like just everything I put her through, she was just always there for us. Life growing up with my mom was amazing. She's like the most hilarious woman in the world. She has a heart of gold and she's just so fun and outgoing, full of life, and she made everybody feel so special. Fun, <laughs> crazy and fun. <laughs> um, it, was, uh, it was amazing. What I will miss most about my wife is that well, I won't miss. I'll be, I'll be happy to know that my wife is now at rest and she's at peace and she's in the presence of my Heavenly Father in Jesus' holy name. And that will me and my sons, my daughters, my grandchildren, all our compadres and comadres will always continue to love her in our hearts. And we know that one day we'll all come back together again to worship and glorify the name of Jesus. What I'll miss most about mom is um, having someone to talk to. I could tell her everything. And she always knew what to say to comfort me, to, to get me through it, you know. She'd always tell me this too shall pass. And, um, and it did. She would always be our encourager. She would always encourage me or walk me through it, talk me through it, whatever it was I was going through. What I'll miss most about my mom is being able to pick up the phone and just hear her voice to tell me that she loved me, to tell me that she was proud of me, to tell me to get back up. Every time I fell flat on my face, my mom was the first one there to pick me back up. And I remember she would always say, get up, giant. Get up giant she would tell me to get back up and, and i think just you know even though i miss her i know that heaven's received a special angel and one day i'll see her again but i think just my mom was my best friend she was pretty much she meant the world to me How did I feel about my wife? Well, she was my best friend. She was my mate, my love. We had a same urgent desire to serve God with all our hearts. And those around us that were in the ministry, we all had the same desires, the same values of raising a family and serving God and reaching out to hurting souls. My mom made people feel like they were so important. She treated everybody equal, like nobody was less, nobody was more. Everybody was welcome, everyone was family. We were all children of God and we were all one. The very first time I, I fell in love in this world was with my mom. She was a, the woman of my dreams. She. She loved me perfectly. She corrected me when I needed correction. She inspired me when I was down. She cheered me on when I needed just an, a, a little push. I don't think there's a, a, a woman that has ever lived that is, will ever be greater than my mom. There's some great moms out there, but to me, my mom was the best in the world. My wife, she found a place working with the babies, the, the toddlers, the infants, and I found my place working with young boys in the Ministry of Royal Rangers. 
This was many years. We did it for over a period of 20, 24, 25 years of our life. Very active. I was raised in Victory Outreach in La Puente my entire life until I was 22 when we moved and bought a new building and it was wonderful. My mom was so involved in the nursery and dad in the Royal Rangers. We were there, it felt like we lived at church and the greatest outings we had like when we went to convention and conference and mom would pack us all up and we'd stand a whole week in a cool hotel. I thought we were on vacation, but she was just there serving. <laughs> and she always made serving so awesome and appealing. You wanted to be a part of it. She made the serving the Lord the best experience. In our home, life was very interesting. Uh, we were pretty much raised in church. None of us liked going to church when we were young, but Mama Lulu was over the mommy's club and nursery and Papa Joe was a Royal Ranger commander. We never really had a choice. We had to go to church. My mom and my dad, they didn't play. They said, you do whatever you want to do. But on Sunday mornings, we were going to church and, and they raised us in church. Yes, my mom, she raised us in church. Even when we didn't want to go, she made us go. <laughs> and we would have battles sometimes. Uh, I'd come home and she'd say, get up for church. I'd barely be getting in. And she'd say, you know, you're going to church. And I'd say, no, I'm going to sleep. No, she flip back on that light switch. You're going to church and I'd have to go. Mm -hmm. I want to be just like you, Mom. And I love you so much. Thank you for being such an like, awesome example of a godly woman and for loving us the way you did. She's truly amazing. If there was one last thing you could say to your mom, what would it be? If there was one last thing I could say to my mom, it would be this, Mom, I love you, and you mean the world to me. I don't think there's words that can express how I feel about you, but in the next few minutes, I'm gonna do something that I've never done for any other person, nor will I ever do again. And Mom, if you're there in heaven, I, I hope you enjoy this. Take a look at this special presentation I put together for my mom.